What's up team? Welcome back to Worked and welcome back to the week four of the Pumped program. This is day 17. We got a lower body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up, get those legs nice and warmed up and work through the first circuit. We're gonna start off with toe touch squats. So legs start straight, you're gonna reach those hips back. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Grab the front of the toes, pull your butt down and stand back up. We're going for 10 reps on that. So you wanna get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Get those legs loosened up. Push the hips back, pull, stand back up. 10 reps. Ava. Push those hips back, get your butt nice and low, stand up. From there, we're gonna drop back down into the squat. Left hand goes down to ground, rotate that chest up, open up, switch sides. We're gonna go three times through. Hop back up when you're done. We're going three reverse lunges with a rotation towards the forward leg. So down to one knee, rotate away from that leg for a second, back up. Feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor on the back leg, down your obliques, abs a little bit. Three times, each side. From there, we're going high toe touch. Step, reach, five each side. Kind of step that leg back, get a good swing. Reach up, touch as high as you can. Five each side. We're going 10 good mornings. Feet shoulder width together, uh, shoulder width apart, hands behind your head. Push your butt back towards the wall, 10 reps. Get those hamstrings, glutes nice and warmed up. From there, we're going 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverse, 10 crosses. Let's jump into it. Then we're going 10 crosses. Oh, my chest is sore. How are you guys feeling? All right, so, circuit A. We have a 12 minute AMRAP. So for those of you that are new, an AMRAP, AMRAP is, we're gonna set 12 minutes on the clock, and it's as many rounds as you can fit of these three exercises with the required number of reps. So our first move is going to be five dumbbell front squats. I'm gonna go 25s to start out on this. There's two ways you can do it, actually. We can do it front squat, that's how I have it prescribed, so dumbbells up on the shoulder. That's gonna get pretty challenging on the core. If you get too tired of holding the weights up, you can drop it down to your side and do your squat. But the key here is tempo of everything. Today is not about pace or speed, it's all about the tempo of the reps. So what we're gonna do is a three, 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 one tempo. And what that means is, we're going shoulder width apart, elbows in tight, the edge of the dumbbell is resting on my shoulder. And now we're going one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, one, two, three, up. One second pause at the top, a little recovery, and then back down. So it's three seconds down, 
a three second hold and a three seconds up for five reps. That's our first movement. You can hold the dumbbells high or you can go low. Our second move is a dumbbell deadlift with the exact same format. So I'm gonna go a little heavier on this. I'll probably go 40s. The dumbbells start at the side of your legs. Feet are a little narrower than a squat with the toes pointed out just a little bit. Shoulders back and down. You're gonna push the butt towards the wall. Slight bend of the knees, push the floor away with a three down, three pause, three up tempo. So one, two, three. You should really feel it in the hamstrings and glutes. One, two, three, and then nice and slow up. Pause for a second and right back into it. You wanna try to keep the dumbbells as close to your body as you can. If you let them float too much out here, it's gonna put a lot of strain on the low back. So five squats, five deadlifts on that tempo. And then we're doing a lateral squat walk. So you're gonna throw on a band over the knee, and you're gonna go back and forth three times. So get in your squat position, walking sideways, reaching with that leg, take your time. If you don't have a band, you can hold the dumbbell here in the goblet's position and do your walks back and forth. Those are our three moves, guys. Again, tempo is everything. Try to use a little heavier weight since it's only five reps at a time. And we're doing them nice and controlled and slow. So 12 times, you're gonna cycle through that as much as you can, as many rounds as you can, uh, with no set rest break. So it's kind of up to you to how hard you wanna work. You guys have any questions? Let's do it. We'll pump up the music a little bit. Go at your own pace. I'm gonna go 25 on the front squat to start. 40 on the deadlift. In 10 seconds, guys, follow that tempo. That's the most important thing. Three, two, one. Work. Five squats. Keep your core tight. Try to own every position here. That's the key. Drop them, I'm going into your deadlifts. Five reps. And then right into your walks. I'm gonna go heavier on all these movements actually, now that I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go 40 on the squats, 50s on the deadlift. It's a matter of just feeling it out. Three times on these lateral walks. And then right back into it. Nice deep breaths. We got 10 minutes, team. Come on. You can put the bottoms of the dumbbells together if it's getting too awkward.
Deep breath. All you're focusing on is the muscles you're intending to work. Should be quads and glutes in those squats. Hamstrings and glutes in those deads. And this is glutes too. It's only five reps, so try to challenge yourself on the weight. If you don't have heavier weights, that tempo is even more important. Whew. Oh. back in together on those deadlifts. Don't let that upper back round too much. Come on team, we're halfway through it. Thanks for it. They bent over in that squatted position, like a basketball guard or a baseball position, ready for that ground ball. You can wet your feet on the squats if you want to. That'll help a little bit. Team. Come on. Not much to be said here. Here's those legs on the deadlift pushing the floor away. Come 
Come on, team. A little under four minutes left. Come on. 320 left. A few more rounds. We're going low dumbbells. Focus on the legs more than the core. Good rep. Huh. I'm dropping a 30 on my squat. Modified needed. Get the quality up. Even if it's only a rep or two. Two, one, rest. Three minutes, team. Woo! Some of these workouts, they look easier on paper than they actually are. Huh. Woo! All right, team, three minutes rest. Good news, bad news. Good news is when we have one more AMRAP like that, bad news is the exact same format and it's lower body again. So, same concept, 12 minutes on the clock. We're doing split squats this time with one dumbbell in the hand. So, we're gonna do right side split squats first. I'm gonna go with a 25 to start. We're following the exact same tempo here on all the movements. Three, 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 one. So. Your foot's gonna be back in your split squat position. Your right foot is forward. All the weight's forward on your right leg. Dumbbell's gonna be in your left hand, sitting against that thigh. You're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One second, pause at the top. So, 
All for the right leg for five reps. Then we're gonna switch sides. Left leg, one, two, three, pause. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's movement number one. Five each leg. Movement number two is a dumbbell sumo deadlift. You can use a kettlebell here, a dumbbell. We're going feet wide. You're gonna, if you're holding one dumbbell, you're gonna hold it like this, sideways. If you're holding two, you're gonna hold them neutral in between your legs, like so. I might start with 225s. Glutes and hamstrings and low back are a little bit fired up. Chest is going towards the ground. Very similar to the deadlifts we just did, except now our feet are in sumo position. And you can actually keep the dumbbells out like this if you want to. So palms a little bit facing forward, kind of going inside of the legs and then standing up tall. Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. Back up, one, two, three. If the low back starts to give out a little bit on any of these movements, please just drop the weight. It is a lot on the low back with all the deadlifts and slow movements, so modify as needed, guys. Any questions? 12 minutes on the clock, same concept, five of each of these. Three down, three pause, three up, tempo. We got 20 seconds, guys. Come on. Let's get after it. I'll bump it up a little bit. You guys can still hear me? Yeah? Cool. Three, two, one. 12 minutes, team. Right leg forward. One. Keep that knee off the ground about an inch on the bottom and then drive back up. Keep your chest pretty vertical. We want to attack the quad. Switch inside when you're ready. Focus all that weight on the front leg. The back leg is just balancing. Right in your sumo deadlifts for five. Pushing those knees out over the toes. Think about driving through the heels and the butt. It's all about intention. Should feel this all in the glutes and hamstrings, but in the back of the legs. Whew. I'm gonna go to the 30s on the split squats. Or 30, I should say. We're doing one-handed to keep uh, grip strength. It's a lot of gripping. muscle fiber in that leg should feel like it's working. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us. We found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves. Oh, getting caught in the mist is a minute that never get out of. They're feeding the fish huh. of doubt. 
Oh. Eight minutes, team. Eight forty left. Come on, team. On those deadlifts, nipples to the ground, hips back, low back stays flat. Deep breaths, short breaks in between sets, you can keep the quality up. Come on. It ain't fun, but this works. Come on. We move slow so we can move fast later. Own every part of this movement. Halfway through it, team. Come on. Take your time. Even little breaks if you need it. Come on. Set that weight back into the heels on those deadlifts. Feel those hamstrings stretch. Come on team, I love this right here. This moment, we got six minutes left, let's work. This is all about just making it hurt as bad as you can, basically. Don't run from it, seek it. Shaking. Huh. Huh. Woo! Come on, 
team. Three and a half minutes left. Open those knees up. Squeeze on those deadlifts. Butt squeezing at the top. You can start the hands forward too on the deadlifts if you want. Whatever is more comfortable. You can just pull up and stand up. Come on team, hustle it. We got two and a half minutes left. It's the final push. It's our last AMRAP. We got a short circuit after this. Let's get after it. We got a rest day tomorrow. We got no more leg days this week. Make it worthwhile. Huh. A minute 15. Come on, a couple more movements. I max two at this pace. It be in the book. Oh, how we doing out there? Awesome work, team. We got one more circuit. Simple. We're through the hardship. You guys killed it. All right, team. Whew. We got 30 seconds of work in this circuit for each movement. 15 seconds of rest between each. 30 between rounds, and we got three moves. We're starting off with side glute hip raises. So we're gonna set up our elbow in our side plank position. Our knees bent, hips at a 45 degree angle. So from the front, um, my knees are bent like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, it's a two part move here. So you're gonna drive through the bottom knee to get those hips off the ground, pushing through this knee, while at the same time, Lifting this leg off and squeezing. Nice and slow down. So, again, pushing through this bottom knee, the feet separate, and then you come nice and slow back down to the ground. You want to feel this in the glute right here. 
A modification is to not lift the leg. So you can just go like this and keep those feet together. But do it as best you can with the legs separating apart. We're gonna go 30 on the right, 30 on the left. And then we're gonna blow up the quads with some bear squats. So we're starting off hips high, feet close as, the closer your hands are to your feet, the harder it is. Bending the knees towards the ground, they never actually touch the floor. And then squeezing up as high as you can and really try to flex the quads. You can move your feet back further, it's a little easier. Or walk them in to make it a little harder. Again, knees as close as you can. Try to get your hamstring to touch your calf for a full flexion of the knee. And then really focus that intention on the squeeze of the quads at the top. Locking out those knees as hard as you can. What do we say over here? I'm sweating worse than cardio, I know. Andres, that's one of those weird ones where you're just working every muscle as hard as you can. It gets no break during the movement. We got 30 seconds, guys. Any questions? We ready to finish this off strong? Let's do it. Side hip glute raises. In 15 seconds, team. Start setting up. Make sure that elbow is right underneath your shoulder joint for a nice solid base. Five, three, two, one, and go. Lift, raise, nice and slow back down. Spread those legs though at the same time. The heels don't stay together either. Really control, you should feel it on that bottom side, right glute. Three, two, one. Switching sides, 15 seconds. You're like a circle. Bend those knees a lot, so you're at a, a, an angle here at the hips of 90 degrees, like so. Two, one, work. Push through that bottom leg. Come on, seven, two, one, rest, bear squats coming up, Woo. sit back on the knees, you can stretch out the quads a little bit like this, get them ready, three, two, one, work, slowly bring those knees to the ground, Two, one, rest. 30 seconds, team. Little home stretch, rock cruising in there, let's go. 12 seconds team, we're starting up on that right side again. Right side glute raises. Four, three, two, one, work. Let's go. We're coming at this better than we came in. Stronger. Control it on the way down. Don't let those hips just fall. Two, one, rest. 15 seconds, guys. Five, two, one, work. Come on, five, two, one, 
guys feeling that in the glutes? Right here? Three, two, one, work. Drop those knees. Squeeze. Keep those arms locked out. Keep the weight back on the feet. Three, one, rest. 30 seconds, guys. If you want to sit back on your calves, get a little stretch. Woo. Last round through. Right side glute hip raises. Let's finish strong. All the intention on that right side glute. Two, one, work. Come on, team. Focus on that squeeze at the top. Bring those hips up a little bit forward. Really squeeze. Two, one. Rest. Fifteen. Switch inside. Woo! Five. Three. Two. One. Work. We're back. Upper body workout on Thursday. Thank you guys for joining in live. Those of you joining later, I appreciate you guys. Have an awesome Tuesday. We'll be back Thursday. Same time, same place. See you then.